Hello, everyone. Um, I'm gonna walk you through some processes here, or like, um, what do you call them? Steps that I, I take when I do a drawing. Because um, I thought that might be fun to do. Um, this drawing, this uh, video is sped up about a thousand times. This drawing took about an hour to do, a bit longer. It was an hour of, of footage that I recorded. Um, and here we see I've, I've done a sketch you can see in the background already like uh, and there were a few different ideas and permutations I went through beforehand I also bear in mind this is a very bad drawing I'm not happy with how it turns out at all um, but it was a, a warm down sketch which I like to do at the end of the day so, uh, so at least I draw something for myself if I do if I do some drawing during, during the day which you should do you should draw every day if you're if you're interested in improving your skill at all and uh, so the concept was like this sort of weird uh, witch sort of thing and uh, you can see here I'm going through and doing some some more sort of roughs over the the first rough and uh, just doing a little bit of uh, shading here so I know like where I want the shadows to be sort of thing how I want it to be lit uh, that right there was uh, the puppet wrap tool in uh, Photoshop which is, is very handy for me because I'm very lazy especially in um, these warm down sketches and I don't do um, like proper uh, what do you call it proportions very well I just I just kind of go with the flow and, and draw uh, freestyle sort of thing and um, and this is actually the point where I, I'm way more happier with the rough sketch than I am with the the like the inks for this I, I went through and inked it uh, just adding some solid solid lines and stuff. It, it may have been better if I did it in a more um, painter-y style to uh, go over the, the roughs. Um, just concept-wise, I mean, like, I want... This is also kind of cheap of me as well, is that I probably should have just made her naked. Uh, <laughs> uh, I went in through and added these weird um, belts that go over her um, and um, just, like, I don't know. I mean, like, because I, I had this idea in my head that I, I would I would post this this warm down drawing, and so I didn't want it to get like in trouble for drawing some uh, you know lady parts. Um, but like, it would have been better if she was like naked, like more of a pagan sort of look to it. You know, she's just wearing a, a cloak and this weird uh, oni mask. You know, in in the woods with her Illuminati symbol. And also, like, no research went at all into this drawing. I just is kind of based on what I vaguely remember Oni masks looking like from uh, uh, maybe like that Genji skin or um, like Avatar, like the blue spirit that um, Zuko wears sometimes when he's in disguise. I always thought that was a cool character design because it, it was such a different color and it changed his silhouette a lot, so so nobody would recognize him. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that was just, I, I completely like waffled through the um, the flat colors that I put in there and a little bit of basic shading. I also decided, you know, what the hell, I'm gonna add some like tattoos or something. Probably shouldn't have, it probably would have turned out better if it was a, a lot more simple and she didn't have like those weird, like, uh, there's not even any style of tattoo, it's just squiggly lines, really. Um, yeah, so, and this is the point where I'm like, oh man, I gotta draw a background for this, don't I? Okay, uh, get the grass brush out in Photoshop, which is very lazy, never ever use the grass brush, uh, ever. Uh, just <laughs> and this is like uh, some trees there's some squidgy trees okay we can shade the trees uh, here the trees getting shaded okay let's be super lazy with it because I know I'm gonna go back in and just blur the um, the living daylights out of the background um, but uh, I am getting better at drawing backgrounds and I should do it more uh, maybe even just do a, a landscape scene at some point because it's, it's a useful it's, it's useful to know and, and, and it helps with framing, you know, doing the, the backgrounds. Um, and you can probably tell that there was no thought, design or process at all in this in this warm down sketch. This is just me like freestyling. Like I, I don't even know why those trees are like like this weird orange and the hills are uh, purple. I think it's just because uh, it contrasted nicely with the, the blue that I randomly chose for the background. And so what I do here is just, um, I think at this, this point it's it's just adding some shadows and then there's multiple layers of um, of darkness set to multiply 
in the different layers of the trees. So there's one, two, three layers, and then the background. And then, uh, and of course, if you've ever been in a forest of any kind, you know that like leaves fall everywhere all the time. And uh, I always like to add that little detail in when I do like a, a, like a forest scene. Um, and this is this is a new thing I've been doing for a few months. Is you just you take the whole drawing and you saturate it, and then you add like a little layer of color on the top because I, I'm always worried that my colors are too dull, and that I feel like that just helps it uh, pop a little bit more. It may it's also really over the top as well. So, but you know, this is just like a warm down, chill out sort of listen to some weird music for an hour or like a podcast. Um, yeah, there's some, some t final like highlights there. I wanted to add to the mask and stuff, and then uh, play around with some adding a noise layer and a little bit of uh, more highlights and shading, and um, then play around with the colors a bit. I think I desaturated it in the end just a little bit, just because it, it was it was very overpowering the colors. I took out some of the red and the blue, and um, yeah, that's that's my warm down drawing for today, the the Witch of the Woods. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that was slightly informative. And uh, I hope you have a great day.